The notion that there is no salvation outside the church is no longer accepted as true. In fact, we should never think that we are holier than those outside our circle. It could be the other way around as shown in the, his in the story of the centurion. My dear friend, we have the Gospel of Matthew chapter 8 verses 5 to 11 for our reflection. The Israelites believed themselves to be people of God, yet they often turned away from Him and committed great sins, particularly the worship of other gods. When He sent His only Son, they refused to believe in Him. He took a pagan foreigner to, ex to express great faith in Him. What an irony indeed. So Jesus told that many people from outside country will dine with their ancestors at the banquet in heaven. As believers of Jesus for a long time, let us never arrogate unto ourselves uh, the idea that we alone can be saved. The notion that there is no salvation outside the church is no longer accepted as true. In fact, we should never think that we are holier than those outside our circle. It could be the other way around as shown in the, his in the story of the centurion. If we are humble and open enough, the very people whom we look down can be our teachers in matters of faith. Therefore, in humility, let us acknowledge our own unworthiness because we are weak and wicked sometimes. Many times we waver in our faith, especially when we are confronted with great suffering. Let us therefore ask Jesus to help us that we may have faith in uh, faith of the centurion. If we are humble and persevering enough, Jesus will fulfill his promise of journeying with us. The Holy Spirit will come to our aid and grant us the power to become witnesses. Thus we become his co-workers to bring all people, including those from the East and the West, under the Lordship of Saviour of Mankind, Jesus Christ. Reflect today upon our response to Jesus' invitation to deepen our faith in Jesus and thus bring others to Jesus. May the words of Jesus redeem us. Amen. <music>